Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the Product Specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018.5 Sport Trek 251 VBH. This is a nice little bunk model floor plan, comes in at a little over 5,500 pounds. Let's start off right over here on the kitchen. Uh, a couple nice things that they've done. You'll see that they have upgraded countertops in here. It's not your standard T-mold. So great looking countertops that not only look nice, but also allow for an undermount sink. I really like when they're able to undermount a sink in an RV. It gives a much cleaner look. You'll see the double bowl stainless steel sink here with the high rise pull out faucet. And then as you saw, you have the nice big sink top cover here as well. Now, if you want, you can certainly flip this over to use this as a giant cutting board, but I do recommend using the bottom side. That way you don't have knife marks on the top. Right over to the side here is your three burner cooktop. And if you like to do some baking, you'll see you do have an oven here underneath. You'll also see next to that, you have some storage, nice little drop down tray right here. And then you have three very large full extension ball bearing drawers. They're nice and long here. So if you have, you know, larger utensils like spatulas, large serving spoons, things like that, you're able to fit them in there. And one of my favorite things about Sport Track is they always try to be cognizant of a place in their floor plans to have a trash can. And that's exactly what this is right here. You see you have this nice big open space. They didn't put a shelf in there because that's what they want you to be able to put there is that trash can. Right around over to this side here, we'll open this up. And you can see right down there, you have some additional storage. Maybe I'll throw some pots and pans there. Or if you want, you can probably use it for shoe storage too. You know, you come in, kick your shoes off, throw them right in there. So we take a look up top. This is kind of cool. You have this little tech box right here. If you take a look at the ceiling, you'll see a standard electrical outlet as well as some USB ports. That way, you can put your phones in here, your iPad, whatever it may be, close this up and it's not cluttering up your countertop. Just makes it look nice and clean. Of course, you have a window here to let in some natural light as you would expect. LED light right here. Uh, you also have your controls hidden under here. You'll see for some of your main lights there as well as your awning and your slide out. And you have an electrical outlet tucked away right there too. So if you want a coffee maker or electric griddle, something like that, that is where you will plug it in at. As we open this up, you see nice big pantry space up here. They did put a shelf in it and I definitely think that was a good choice. Otherwise, this would be way too big of a space. Having that shelf makes it very usable. Over next to that is a microwave and then directly below is your hood with a light and fan. Norcold fridge freezer in this unit. You have the stainless steel panels. Plenty of room in here. You see you have a cutout there as well. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. And the thermostat is right here on the outside. So it's super easy to adjust. Now this unit is a bunk model and you'll see right back here are what they call the double over double bunks. Uh, Teddy bear bunk series, so nice and soft. And the great thing about having two double bunks is if you want, you can sleep two kids per bunk, which is great. You'll also see right here on the wall, on both the bottom and top bunk, you have an LED light as well as a dual USB port. Uh, that's something I'm finally starting to see more manufacturers do, and I'm really glad they're doing it. You know, I know that we don't go camping to have the kids play on electronics, but on those rainy days, that can be a lifesaver. It kind of gives them their own space to sit here and hang out, especially when you're in a little bit shorter floor plan. So I do like the fact that they put them in there. You then definitely have a window on both the top and bottom as well. And you'll also see right underneath this bottom bunk, you have some nice extra storage. This is pretty cool too. If you want to put like a laundry basket down there with some dirty clothes or duffel bag, whatever else you want to put down there. If you have a dog that comes with you, you know, they can have a nice little uh, bed down there if you want. And then you have a curtain you can close off here for privacy. Right back in the corner is the bathroom. You'll see right down here, you have the foot flush lever toilet. That's a porcelain bowl, folks. That makes it super easy to clean, which is great. Right next to that is the shower. Nice big shower so you don't feel closed in. Has a built-in door, some shelves there, hand wand, and a skylight up top. I'm six foot. I can stand in there quite easily as well. You'll also see right up next to that, you have a vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. LED light there, make it nice and bright. And then over to this side is your mirrored medicine cabinet. Directly below that, you have the sink top. Nice, good countertop space there as well. And then some additional storage right underneath. So we step back out of the bathroom. You'll see right here across the way, you have nice extra storage. Take a look at how big that is. 
So this gives you some versatility here. If you want extra pantry space, you can certainly use this for pantry. If you need extra space for the kids' clothes, you can use it for that too. Or really whatever else you want to put in there, but that is a nice big storage area. Right here on the wall, you have your thermostat. This will run your ducted AC as well as your ducted heat. And right above, uh, they throw in this nice picture frame, which is kind of cool. That way, you know, your first camping trip or whatever, snap a nice family photo, put it in there. Uh, just a nice extra touch. Right over here to the side, as I mentioned, this unit does have a slide out, which, you know, for the weight, it's just over 5,500 pounds, is pretty darn good. Big U dinette in here. I love having this big U dinette, especially in a bunk model. It gives you a place to sit down, play games together, have a meal together. You'll see it's a nice long table as well. A lot of manufacturers, they put in a U dinette, the table will be like half this size, and it's not even usable. You know, you can put like one plate of food on there, and that's it. Not the case here. Also, this does drop down and make a large bed. You simply remove the uh, table legs here, then the table will sit along these rails right here. Take the back cushions, put them on top right here, and that will create that additional sleeping space. Then if you look underneath, we'll open this up here, you see that you have good extra storage. A nice little pull-out tray, look at that. Makes it super simple to get to. You know, that's one of, the, one of the big issues with a lot of the storage underneath your dinette is most of the time, it's really tough to get to. You have to get down on your hands and knees. You know, at least they have the door. It's better than lifting the seat. But generally, you have to get down there, try to reach in. Having these bins here make it super simple to access whatever you need to get to. So we take a look right here, this is our entertainment center. On that rainy day when you want to watch TV, this is where it will be located. Hooked up to that is your multimedia center. This unit is a radio, CD, and DVD player. So pop a movie in, you are good to go. This unit controls the speakers inside as well as outside and is also Bluetooth capable. Right up top here, they went with a frosted glass instead of wood, which I like. You know, helps break up the look a little bit. You can see there's storage right up top, and then you'll have some additional storage right down below. So we take a look at the bedroom, you'll see right here they have actual slider doors. It's another thing I like when manufacturers do, you know, especially in a bunk model, it's nice to have that little extra privacy of a door rather than just having a curtain. If we take a look at the bed itself here, this is one of my favorite parts about the bedroom. This is a residential queen 60 by 80. That's a big deal, folks, you know, especially if you're taller and you're sick of your feet hanging off all the beds. It's not a problem here in the 251. Again, a 60 by 80 residential size queen. And, of course, you have storage underneath. If you take a look on both sides, you'll see that you have hanging wardrobe space there, which is great. You know, you have to have a spot to hang your clothes up. You have the nice uh, storage going across the top here as well. And then right down below, you see the leather headboard. But my favorite part about this is take a look right behind the wardrobe. You know, this is a really neat idea. Rather than having all this wasted space like most manufacturers have, you have the shelf right down below here. You have the built-in shelf. You have an electrical outlet here. On the other side, you have an electrical outlet and a dual USB port. So you have spots to plug in your electronics, your CPAP, things like that. I think this is a much better setup than having it down below where most manufacturers put your outlets. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Sport Trek 251 VBH. Starting right up front, this unit does come equipped with a power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Just a flip of a switch here to raise and lower the tongue. Then you'll also notice you have a light on there for some added visibility at night. Directly behind that are your two 20 pound tanks with the cover. Super easy to get into those, just undo the two thumb screws, lift up the door and you are down and in. And then right behind that, you see are the rails for your battery. Coming up the front here is black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by the tow vehicle. And then the sport truck here kind of has like a three-quarter front cap is what I like to call it. You know, it doesn't wrap around the side, but it certainly gives a really nice look to it, whether you're going down the road or parked at the campground. And you'll also see you have LED lights on there as well, which again, give it a nice look at night. When we come around to the side, you'll see this unit is equipped with a solar prep. So all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery, which is really nice if you do a lot of boondocking. Take a look at the pass-through. You have a covered hinge on there. It's magnetic as well, so that way you don't have to worry about the kids coming and, you know, slamming this shut, breaking off a plastic tab, nothing like that. 
When you take a look inside, there's a couple things I want to point out. One, it is nice and spacious in here, and you'll see the door on the opposite side is just as big as the door on the camp side here, so if you have big, large items, you can access them from either side. Then right over here, you'll see that you have a battery disconnect, which is great. You can quickly kill all power. And then the light in here is something I want to talk about too, because that's actually a motion sensored light, which is really neat. So that way you can, you can, it has a couple different settings. You can either have it just permanently on or off, or you can use the motion sensor. So when you open it up, you go to reach in there, it automatically turns on for you. Cool thing about that is not only do you have one here in the pass-through, you also have an additional one right in the entryway. So that way, as soon as you walk inside, kind of the same thing, you have that kind of welcome home light that uh, turns on for you, which is pretty cool. Quick uh, couple things underneath here I want to talk about. Some of the things that you can't really see or that people generally miss. So one of them is the frame construction. If you notice, this one has a huck bolt frame rather than welded. Uh, the huck bolt has a couple of advantages to it. One, the place your frame tends to start to rust at is right on those weld seams. So by eliminating those weld seams, you reduce the chance for rust to start there. The other thing is if you do have any damage, the huck bolt frame is a lot easier to repair, meaning it will save you money. One of the other things that you don't see is this one has a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. So if you like to do that extended season camping, you can do it in the Sport Trek 251. You see this unit is equipped with a power awning, so just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And of course, you have LED lights there as well. So flip a switch, you have light at night. You don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights or your chili peppers or whatever you have, unless you really want to. Getting into the coach is nice and easy too. You have three foldable aluminum steps. The big advantage of aluminum is the fact it doesn't rust. So that way you'll have great looking steps. You have the grip tape on there as well. So if it rains, you have good traction and you have the foldable grab handle right here as well for that extra control when entering or exiting the RV. You'll also see you have two outside speakers right there. I talked about those when we were inside as those units are connected to that multimedia center. However, as I also mentioned, it is Bluetooth capable. So that way you can sit out here underneath your awning and be able to control those speakers. If you like to watch outside TV, or TV outside rather, that's not a problem. Right here is your cable outlet as well as an electrical outlet. So you can just hook a TV up right there and uh, you know, you're underneath your awning and you can watch a show. If you take a look at the wheels, again, just kind of like the steps, you have aluminum alloy wheels. The great thing about that, they don't rust and they're awesome looking wheels on there. So that's definitely a plus. You also have nitrogen filled tires. So that way, hopefully it'll hold that pressure, your tire pressure for a longer period of time, uh, which is a big deal. You know, anytime you go out, you know, on any trip when you're camping, you always want to check your tire pressures, folks. That's one of, you know, one of the big safety checks you always want to do each and every time. Making our way back a little bit further is the outside kitchen. You'll see right up top here, you have some nice storage up there. Uh, you know, they want to uh, lay some cups. You might be able to sneak some cups in there, some solo cups, a couple of them, paper plates, things like that. And then directly underneath that, right here, you have a sink as well as a two burner cooktop. So if you like to do some outside cooking, this one will allow you to do that. And then right next to that is your refrigerator. This is probably my favorite part right here. You know, you can put some beverages in there, some condiments, whatever you need, super easy access. Then as you would expect, right down below is your propane quick connect. You can see that guy right there. It's again intended for that two burner cooktop, but if you're more of a person who likes to grill, not a problem, you can put your propane grill out here and hook that up to that quick connect as well. When you come around to the back side, a couple things I wanna talk about here. One is your storage rack. This thing's awesome. Uh, a couple things that people don't realize when this comes on an RV, and the biggest one for me is a lot of people don't know that if you attach something to the bumper of your RV, generally that will void out your warranty for the entire RV. And for someone who's buying a new RV, you want that warranty. It's one of the reasons you buy new. So having this rack come uh, from the manufacturer means that you don't void the warranty. It's still good and it's super useful. You can drop this rack down, it's super simple. You take these cotter pins out right here, remove the top pins on both sides, that will allow it to set right down, lock it back in place. You can put bikes on there, you can put totes, wood, whatever you want, load it up, get to your destination. If you wanna fold it back up, you know, fold it up when you're there, you can, or leave it down, whatever. Uh, but I do like the fact that that comes standard. You'll also notice there's a rear mounted ladder here. This way you can get up onto the roof. Fully walkable roof as well, folks. Again, one of those maintenance things you wanna get up and check out on any RV. 
Now in order to uh, fold the ladder down here, you do have to drop this gate, so bear that in mind. It'll take you an extra step or two. Then you simply lift up on this bottom part, it folds down, snaps right into place right there. Also, if you take a look up top in the center, you will see this one is prepped for a backup camera. This is a decent sized travel trailer. It's not, you know, definitely not the biggest one out there. And that's, uh, you know, one of the uh, allures to it, right? You get that bunk model with the slide, a little bit smaller. But if you want a backup camera, folks, having it prepped makes it a lot less expensive to have installed. When we come around to the off camp side, a couple things over here. One is your termination. You'll see that's located right here. It's high enough, you have good ground clearance there. Your gray valve is located there, and then the black is right on the other side. You'll also see you have an outside shower here with both hot and cold water access. Directly beneath is your black tank flush. That way you don't have to stick a hose down your toilet. Just stick it right there when you're done camping. That black tank has sprayers built in. It will wash it out for you. And then lastly, you will also notice right here you have a detachable 30 amp power cord. Now your water inlets will be on the front side. Both your city and tank fill will be up front. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018.5 Sport Trek 251 VBH. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.